Hey everybody, Nick Kuhn here from VMware Tanzu Tech Marketing. I'm going to walk through some of the new functionalities for the Beta 5 release of the Application Service Adapter for Tanzu Application Platform. As a refresher, the adapter aims to provide a Cloud Foundry compatibility layer on top of Tanzu Application Platform. It's great for Tanzu Application Service customers who want to start their journey to Kubernetes but still provide the great developer experience that Tanzu Application Service and Cloud Foundry provide. And one of the key features in the Beta 5 release is the ability to use Cloud Foundry user-provided services. User-provided services allow Cloud Foundry applications to bind to external services in a similar fashion as ones provided in the Cloud Foundry marketplace. Now, let's go ahead and kick this off. And I'm going to see a push, one of my favorite applications, Spring Music to the adapter. While that's pushing, we're going to toggle over to another tab. And we're going to check out the namespace in which this application is getting pushed to on the Kubernetes side. And you can see I actually have a MySQL database already provisioned here. And this is the build service building uh, the image. Let's refresh this a few more times. Still building. We may fast forward here just a bit. OK, it looks like the app has pushed. We'll do a CF apps. All right, yeah, we have an app here. And just to make sure it's working, let's hit it in the browser. Okay, this is a classic Spring Music app, and we don't have any services bound. If we go back now, I have a handy dandy uh, CF Cups command already queued up, and this created a user provided service called MySQL with you know typical MySQL parameters. Uh, we're using the internal Kubernetes name of MySQL and a super secret password and username and I created a spring runtime database already on that. Uh, but now if we actually see on the Kubernetes side what that did, we do a kube uh, CTL get secret. Now we can see that we have a service binding that IO MySQL type of Kubernetes secret. This is the integration of the adapter uh, talking to Kubernetes primitives to continue the experience. Now we should go ahead and bind the app. Sorry, bind the service to the app and restart our app. Now, once this restarts, it should bind to the database. And when I do this refresh, you can see that we have a new album set because it's using the album set that I previously defined in this database. And if you go here in the toggle, we can see that the services are now using the MySQL. So we have an app deployed with the adapter and talking to a MySQL database on the Kubernetes cluster it's running on using the user provided services. There you have it, folks. If you'd like more information on the application service adapter, hit the links below. Thank you.